Hi friends! I will cook biko with latik or sticky rice with coconut curds. Here are the ingredients. So we will cook first the glutinous rice. This is a sticky rice. We have to wash it first with water. Then drain it well, and after that, we have to add water. So the ratio is 1 is to 1. Okay, while waiting, we have to cook the coconut curd. So we have to put 2 cups of coconut milk in a pan and let it boil. We notice now solid coconut curds are uh, forming. This is what we call latik in Filipino. And it smells so good. So we will just wait. We have to turn it a little golden brown. In the end, we have to remove insecticide. Next, we have to put coconut milk in a wok and then we have to let it boil. When it starts to boil, we have to put the brown sugar. And then we have to stir it constantly. We have to continue stirring it until we achieve the desired consistency. I think this is now the right consistency so we have to add the cooked glutinous rice then mix them well
This is almost done. So when it is mixed well, then we have to remove it from the pan or from the wok and place in a container or molder if you like. I usually grease the container with a little coconut oil. After that, I place now the pico in the container. All right, then after this, I'm going to place now the latik on the biko or this is what we call the coconut curd, the solid coconut curds. It adds to the taste as well as the smell. And this is really a very nice food for merienda or snacks. You know, friends, when I was a child, Biko was always present during birthdays. But this time, in the modern time, we cook only Biko during Holy Week or All Saints Day. But I really like Biko. And it's so good if you are going to partner it with cold soft drinks. 